The much-anticipated Tesla Roadster is nearly upon us, and the hype couldn't be more extreme. It's well known that this is Elon Musk's favorite project to work on, and boy does it show. With a whole bunch of new tweaks and improvements, the new Roadster is a spaceship compared to its predecessors. And that's not an exaggeration. Elon Musk confirmed that the new Roadster will offer a special SpaceX package fitting rocket thrusters into the already impressive Roadster. Yes, you heard that right. SpaceX's creme de la creme of EV luxury cars is part rocket. Can it fly? No, at least not yet. Is it faster? Well, it has rocket thrusters. So, yes. So let's jump right in and take a closer look at the new improvements to Tesla's Roadster, how they may or may not work, and if they're really necessary. In November 2017, Tesla held a launch event for the semi-truck, but a surprise appearance by the fan-favorite Roadster stole the show. As far as looks go, the 2020 Roadster had it all. A sleek angular design, supercar build quality, and a delightfully minimalist interior. Elon didn't go into how different the SpaceX package would look from the regular Roadster, but he mentioned on Twitter that the production article would look better than the near-perfect prototype. There isn't much to improve on when it comes to aesthetics. This sexy red EV will not only capture your heart, but it'll take over your gallery as well. When it comes to performance, the Tesla Roadster is a beast, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a mind-boggling 1.9 seconds. The SpaceX package makes the 2020 Roadster a more ferocious beast, with a 0 to 60 acceleration time of 1.1 seconds. That is insane, especially if this CGI render by Twitter user at Salvi proves to be accurate. The only problem is, who would want this? Who wants to zip around town in world record acceleration speeds on the way home from work? Believe it or not, there's a bunch of people who can't wait to hit accelerate and take the updated Roadster to its limits, assuming it has any. The rocket thrusters aren't just there to give you that fast and furious effect though, according to Musk and Tesla, the potential uses for this technology are wide and aren't just limited to super fast speeds. According to Elon, Tesla will use SpaceX's cold gas thruster system with ultra high pressure air in a composite over a wrapped pressure vessel in place of the two back seats. The SpaceX package for the new Tesla Roadster will include 10 small rocket thrusters arranged seamlessly around the car. These rocket engines dramatically improve acceleration, top speed, braking, and cornering. Maybe they'll even allow a Tesla to fly. Besides the whole allow a Tesla to fly part, the SpaceX Roadster package seems a lot more useful than it did earlier. But how does it all work? Cold thrusters are simple devices with a simple operating mechanism, ejecting a high-velocity stream of cold gas. These devices are mainly used in the space industry to allow satellites to make small bursts and position changes. You won't see cold thrusters on a Falcon 9 anytime soon, though. That behemoth needs way too much thrust to power its ascent. All in all, cold gas thrusters are fairly inefficient devices, so the chances that your new SpaceX Roadster will accidentally take you to space are close to none, at least right now. A bit of rocket lingo for you now. Thruster power is measured by specific impulse, which is the thrust per unit of mass flow. Still kind of confused? Specific impulse is the amount of thrust one gets from the thruster per mass flow rate going through it. Just like fuel economy, you'd ideally want lots of thrust for a given mass flow. Generally, cold thrusters have a low specific impulse. To raise the specific impulse of a cold thruster, you can mix in fuel of some sort. This wouldn't apply to this situation since hot gases shooting out the back and front of your super fast car fall firmly under safety risks. So when, if ever, will the Roadster's thrusters be useful in real-world situations? We already mentioned that there will be 10 small thrusters placed all around the car, as opposed to one large one in the back like the Batmobile. There will be a main thruster under the license plate, and much like everyone's favorite British spy James Bond, most people can't wait to check it out. We have no idea where these thrusters will be placed and how the car will look with 10 small rocket thrusters sticking out of its sleek exterior. That didn't stop the internet from guessing away, though, and according to us, inside EVs probably have the most accurate idea of what the finished product might end up looking like. According to them, the Roadster could have three thrusters in the front, three in the back, and two on each side, probably near the corners to get better control when turning. Inside EVs also estimate that each thruster will produce about 400 pounds of thrust, which could greatly improve the Roadster's cornering ability if done right. The thrusters will probably be most useful in any situation where the tire's traction limit is passed. With the electric motor producing one megawatt of power, the traction limit of the tires would be exceeded. In such situations, the thrusters could be of assistance. But the thing is, the only time that these situations arise is when you're getting off the line in a race. As much as this is super cool, it's just not super practical in day-to-day -day life. Elon Musk is a die-hard James Bond fan, and if you like this car, chances are you're probably one too. Back in 2013, Elon spent nearly $1 million to buy the Lotus Espirit that was used in the 1977 James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me, starring Roger Moore. Fun fact, the angular lines on the most famous Lotus Espirit in the world served as Elon's inspiration for the Tesla Cybertruck. In an appearance on Jay Leno's garage to showcase the Cybertruck prototype, Elon revealed some juicy details about the SpaceX-packaged Tesla Roadster. We will use compressed air at 
extreme pressure. It is a cold gas engine. The main engine will be behind the license plate. So to accelerate, the license plate will go down and the rocket engine will start behind it. Since it operates with pressurized air, this thruster technology is green and safe for the environment. Take that, James Bond. You must be wondering where all that compressed gas is stored on this relatively small sports car. Elon plans to incorporate a key piece of hardware from SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, a special tank known as a Composite Overwrapped Pressure Vessel, or COPV. These tanks are made out of a thin metal liner that is wrapped in carbon fiber. The COPVs are a great way to store a lot of pressurized air in a very small space. They're also pretty lightweight, which is why many rocket manufacturers like using them to help pressurize their rockets. The COPVs on the Falcon 9 sit inside the propellant tanks and keep them pressurized during flight. As the rocket ascends into space, the propellants rapidly empty from the tanks, and it's the COPV's job to replace those liquids with helium so that the tanks maintain their shape. As we mentioned earlier, the cold compressed air inside the COPVs isn't used to propel the rocket directly because of its low specific impulse. Elon's idea to use COPVs as car thrusters is pretty new. The automotive industry has been using COPVs for decades now in buses and trucks for storing natural compressed gas and more recently in cars with hydrogen fuel cells. The difference between the Roadster COPVs and existing COPVs is that air inside regular COPVs is used as fuel for the motors inside those cars, while COPVs in the Roadsters will be exclusively used as thrusters. No commercial vehicle has ever used COPVs this way before and the idea raises a lot of questions about efficiency and, more importantly, safety. The base Tesla Roadster is already one of the fastest cars out there. That's why many critics were adamantly against the idea of trying to improve upon it. To improve the Tesla Roadster's performance, the thrusters will have to blow out a massive amount of cold air at very high speeds, and this will require a lot of power and some fairly large tanks to have any kind of noticeable effect against some real limits of physics, like tire friction and air resistance. Compressing air takes a lot of energy, and according to Elon, the air will be replenished in the COPV using an electric pump, which would draw from the car's battery pack. Some experts like Auto Pacific's Dave Sullivan think that this could significantly drain the battery of voltage needed to drive the car. To store enough air for major effects to show, the Roadster COPVs will have to be large and bulky. You must be asking where anything large and bulky would fit in the super sleek Roadster. But as we'd alluded to, there's one part of this vehicle that is still largely unexplored, the contentious rear seats. First presented as suitable for smaller adults and children, Elon may have slipped up when he referred to the Roadster's mediocre rear seats as kid seats. The sizable tank will take a huge chunk of space in the Roadster, turning the car from a four-seater to a two-seater. But to be honest, it was initially more of a two-and-a-half-seater than a four-seater car. Having a pressurized tank sitting right behind you as you drive has to be daunting, to say the least. But Elon says that SpaceX's COPVs are by far the most developed pressure vessel developed by humanity. Even so, the safety concerns associated with a project like this are still very real. In 2016, a COPV caused a Falcon 9 rocket to explode while the vehicle was being fueled for a test. According to SpaceX, the friction was caused by friction between propellants in the engine tanks and in the COPV. Don't get all worked up though, because since then, SpaceX has significantly upgraded its COPVs, and any tanks put into the Roadster won't be surrounded by highly flammable rocket propellants. Another challenge the James Bond update faces is the deafening noise produced by the thrusters. There's a very high chance that the thrusters may not be street legal due to noise alone. But assuming Tesla figures it out, could we have the first rocket-propelled car on our streets soon? Tesla plans for the Roadster to enter production in 2022, with engineering and design of the supercar to be finalized in 2021. What do you think about the new SpaceX package Roadster? In your opinion, are rocket thrusters necessary? How soon will it be before we see the James Bond Roadster on our streets if we ever do? Let us know all this and more down in the comments below. Like the video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and until next time, welcome to the future.